It is time to help our viewers through some tricky situations in a segment we like to call Hoda and Jenna Social Dilemmas. All right, you got the first one? Why don't you? Okay. I insist. First one, I'm getting married in October, and my fiance's friend Josh, who was not given a plus one, texted asking us if he could bring his new girlfriend, Abby. We said no. And he replied, okay, but she's coming anyway, and we'll just stay at the hotel. <laughs> oh, my God. That's passive aggressive. Are we obligated to invite her now? No. I mean, okay, odd. That was... it's odd. She's going to be there. Uh, maybe they want during the day. They, I don't know. I'm not sure. I've never, I don't know anything. I've never heard anything like that. <laughs> my, so my, it's not her, his fiance, her fiance's best friend. It's his friend. It's his friend. Okay. It's so a that's new part of it. girlfriend. It's a new girlfriend. And they may have limits of, you know, they probably didn't invite people who they love. I know. But Josh got the invite, so he should just say thank you. And I think that they should just say, okay, great. Then yeah. she can stay there. And then after the reception, you guys go have dinner, do your thing. Yeah. I think that's fine. And you're going to have to just say, yeah. okay, just wait back. Just say, great. It's the Can't same thing with you. the kids is, eh? Just write back, K. Okay. No, not K. One K. No, 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 no. no. One K. You no. just give them a little no. breadcrumb. K is mean. What you write is sounds thumbs like a, sounds like a great plan. Thumbs See up. you at the wedding. What about just a thumbs up? No, you can't do that. <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up is passive aggressive. No, I I thumbs up people all the time. It just means okay. Sounds good. And thumbs up isn't bad. You never thumbs up. Anything? I sometimes do. It's it's rare. I'm not into thumbs up. Thumbs up is just saying okay. <laughs> Do you all without find thumbs without, up to be rude. No, but first you wanted K. You wanted K. Well, K you need words. K was a little sassy, but but they're being sassy back. He's it, bringing Abby without asking. No, he's bringing her anyway, just to sit in the hotel while the wedding's on. Well, maybe she wants well, to. Well, and also, pool. if you're Abby, weren't you like, buddy, your fan? They don't want. They I, well, can't invite another what? person. It's a good test. Okay, I. Okay, it's here's too one. much. Next. <laughs> Tom and I have dated for over two years. I met his friend Gabe several times, but he always acts. Like, it's the first time. We all know those people, don't we? And to make matters worse, he never knows my name. I am furious. But Tom thinks I'm exaggerating. How do I handle? Hmm. I think the next time you're together, you should have some fun with it. Totally. Don't you think? Totally. This is what you would do. Yes. You would sit and go, hi. I think you, would, you could actually have a fun conversation. Yes. Guess my name. Guess it. See if you can come up with. Just have some fun yes. with it. You know, some people, A, aren't great with names. And some people just float through life. And some people are not, you know, so into yeah. that kind of thing. Yes. Who knows? He could just not know your face. And or there are the people oh, geez. What? that sort of try to be cool so they act like they don't know something. I know. We all know she's, those people. The reason it's bugging her is because she's thinking that if his dear friend doesn't even care to know my name. What does that say? What does that say about what Tom, Tom is saying about me? Yes. He must not be talking about totally. me. Totally. He doesn't think I'm an important part but I have of the been life. with a friend and I was really proud of her. There was a girl that came up and was just talking to me, talking to me. And I said, this is my friend Laird. And she said, and she said, oh, hey, nice to meet. She goes, I'm, I, oh, I, I said her name, but yeah, anyway, Laird. that's okay. Okay, Laird, and she said, I met you, remember? I met you last week at oh. whatever. And she said, oh, oh, yeah. She yeah. said, Jenna, I met her a million times. Yeah. I'm not going to play this game yeah, where yeah, we're pretending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. just say, hey, Tom. Say, Tom, yeah, I like or that. Or whatever his name is. All right, let's get to the last one. <laughs> last one. My friend Nicole finally <laughs> broke up with her boyfriend, Matt. I was so happy because I never liked him. Nicole and I celebrated over the weekend by bashing him. <laughs> well, they just got back together. <laughs> Do I have to pretend to like him all over again? No. If they broke up once they're, and y'all bashed, they're going to break up again. You don't bash somebody and then not break up for the second or third time. I think you need to tell Nicole, hey, Nicole, remember how you bashed? Yeah. Let's keep that. I mean, maybe not. Maybe that's invading no, too much. that is. She's I, wasting her time with Matt or whatever well, his name is. Well, some people have broken up and gotten back together. You know, you've hate, you've you've gotten in a tangle with somebody and been like, I'm never going back. Yeah, but I like, wish okay. I hadn't gotten back together with some of those people. I wish I had just broken up and stayed <laughs> true to myself and then met the next. Right. You, there's remember no room. what you said about moving? Yes. You have all the old toys. There's no room for nothing, yes, anything else. Yes, you need new toys. <laughs> Say goodbye. Bye, Matt. <laughs>